Merry Christmas, boys and girls. My name is White Rhino PSO, and it is Christmas Day, so I have something special planned. Today, I'm playing Viscera Cleanup Detail Santa's Rampage. Now, in the original Viscera Cleanup Detail, you played as a janitor who was sent to different locations that you'd find in science fiction games and movies, and it was your job to clean up after whatever carnage happened there. Like, for instance, if some sort of like strange alien creatures showed up and started killing people. Um, this one is a spin-off where it's a standalone. And in this one, something happened that made Santa Claus snap. And so he just started murdering all the different elves and I believe some of the reindeer as well. Uh, there's not much else to say without getting right into the game. I'm uh, playing it solo today. Um, uh, no save file, just clean up and let's get going. All right. Uh, your age is all I think is always random when you start off. Uh, name White Rhino PSO. Occupation Senior Workman. The tragic events that unfolded at this workshop must in no way deter you from performing your duties in a manner befitting the company's reputation. Your work here entails cleaning up the horrific aftermath of Mr. Claus's unfortunate breakdown. This includes the obvious slaughter and any broken item, the obvious slaughter and any broken items and so forth. Please conduct yourself appropriately, as this assignment will reflect upon your permanent record. Failure to follow company guidelines and regulations. Fail to follow company guidelines and regulations, and you may find yourself without a job. Once your work assignment is complete, the corporation will take ownership of the workshop and any remaining items and employees. Alright, first off, I'm going to go out here and turn this thing right down. All right, that's better. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of messed up in here. Um, because I like to explain things, I'm going to go do a quick run through of the different uh, aspects of the game. You have your mop, which can be used to obviously clean up blood spills. Eventually, your mop does get dirty. As you can see, it's getting more and more red and once it gets to that point if you use it again wait a minute you're gonna get a little bit more red yeah once you use your mop once it's this bloody and red you're just going to be spreading blood around so you actually have to wash it off in a bucket um, you have your hands which can be used to pick up different items like these uh, yeah dead elf bodies um, this thing is the sniffer, where uh, if you left click, it will detect, it's kind of like playing hot or cold, it'll detect where the nearest uh, blood and gore is, and a right click will tell you where there's trash or small little items of refuse like these shotgun shells. Um, I believe... Let me just double check. Yes, number four is a broom, which you don't start the game with. All the other tools you start in your inventory. Number four, number four is a broom, which um, can also be used to clean up blood and such, but is not really that good for it. Uh, but is mostly used to push trash around and get it all together so you can put it in a bin. Uh, and number five is a personal log, which there's your objectives, which just tell you what the game said at the beginning, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and then you can also write notes in here, which uh, when you eventually punch out for the day, you can fill out a bunch of paperwork, um, which includes, as you can see, like there's this little green thumb drive looking thing for stinky smittle feet. Those are employee ID tags. And uh, you can, when you're punching out, you can fill out paperwork, which involves explaining how all of these people died. So, um, all right, that 
It's probably over there. So, Stinky Smittlefeet. Let me write down that quick note. Stinky Smittlefeet uh, died at entrance. Uh, doesn't really exactly say how. Gunshots? Alright. Um, Trixie Pine Hat. Trixie Pine Hat died at entrance. Gunshots, maybe? And then. Winkle Snuffles, you poor bastard. Snuffles, entrance, dismembered. Ah, bad spelling. Alright. Um. So what you do is you pick up these little uh, ID thumb tags and you bring them over to the punch out machine and put them all inside. And the game does, it will ask you how each of these people died, which is why I'm bothering to write all the notes. Uh, as you can also see, if you run or walk through blood on the ground or any kind of like liquid mess then you eventually start making footprints which uh, is not very good uh, there's also two devices in here that definitely help uh, the what a load machine will give you biohazard bins which are just used to clean up the different bodies and trash might as well throw some stuff in there now while I'm explaining it and then uh, when you're mopping, the, what's this one called? slosh o -matic. It gives you buckets of water. Just put one down here. And when your mop gets this red, you just use it there. And then now your mop is clean again. Uh, one, eventually the water will get too dirty to do that. And when that happens, if you try using your mop in it, it will make your mop dirty as well. And you can knock these over, which is definitely not good once it gets that dirty. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there's always the uh, music machine. And then you have your like personal chest, which you can actually throw things in there and then bring them back to your office later on. Uh, I think I'm going to clean up the entrance here what, to start. God, his neck is caught on the thing. And that's a severed head. Here, get in there. There we go. Usually when you're cleaning, you want to deal with all like the body parts before you start mopping. Come on. Because if you accidentally hit something too hard, like if that body hits the wall, it will leave a splash mark. Is there anything else to pick up? It doesn't look like it. That's just a red line. Alright, then you pick up the bin and carefully walk it. Anytime you have filled a bin with trash. Ooh, is it? Uh, slack Spaniel's booze bottle. Anytime you fill a bin with trash, um, the way you get rid of it is in the normal game, there is a big kind of portable furnace that you just dump the, uh, the bins into. But in this one, you feed them into the fireplace. And eventually that will be broken down and go away. Um, it's always a good idea to keep an ex in this one at least. It's a good idea to keep an extra bucket of. And I emptied that bucket, so into the trash you go. Um, it's always good to keep an extra bucket of water near at least. The slosh-o-matic? I'm not sure about over here. 
because you've got these sticks of dynamite. Um, oop, oop. Can I pick up just the stick? There we go. Put it that way. Yeah. So, there are times to make the game a little harder that when you use the what a load disposal machine or the slosh o -matic bucket machine it will instead give you like more body parts or in this one it will for whatever reason give you sticks of dynamite so if you don't want to potentially kill yourself and also make a horrible mess of things it's always a good idea to have a bucket of water on hand because... Oh, sweet, finally emptied. Um, because uh, then you can put the dynamite out immediately. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to do some more body work. All right, you are Impy Tiny Toes. Empty tiny toes dead in the room. And then Perkins snots a lot. Perkins snots a lot. Dismembered main room. Who else do we got? Uh, Shorty Tickler. Shorty Tickler, main room, dead. I mean, I suppose I don't really need to put dead, because you're not going to find any living people in here. Sappy Littleton. Sappy Littleton. Uh, main room, black fireplace. Who are you? Jig Dinklebell. Jig. Ooh, I gotta click on the thing. Jig Dinklebell. Main room. Goodbye, fireplace. Alright, so now. Actually, I'm gonna do what I saw in a tutorial, which is to. Put all of those in a bin as I grab, as I, as I fill them out. Yeah, they're all in there. Where's that? There it is. And then I can just dump them out near the uh, machine. Figgy, <laughs> that's a great name. Figgy Faffler. Figgy Faffler. Too many L's. Um, cut in half, main room. Um, okay, grab those. Uh, all right. Who are you? You are Penny Big Ears. Stab to death, Santa's room. Oh uh, yeah, we're uh, we're now in Santa's little office, where uh, there's a whole bunch of different little pictures of cats around, which I thought was kind of weird. And they're so realistic, it makes me think maybe they're cats owned by the developers. Um, as you can see, Santa is having uh, not the greatest day, drinking a lot. Um, what's also neat, uh, uh, I will actually grab another bin for this. You can read through different, um, different notes and letters that children, oh, physics is a little wonky at times. Um, but you can read through the different note, uh, letters that children wrote to Santa, so I'm going to do some of that and break some bottles. Dear Santa Claus, it, it, it was my birthday Friday. Mommy got me only 23 presents and a soccer field cake. 
I hate her. I said you were better. I want 23 steak pies, 12 ice creams, 18 trays of reindeer chocolates, three big boxes of fudge, a pair five computer with conscription three brown ops, and a nitro genie go-kart by Stevie Chubbs. Right in the bin. Uh, Dear Santa, I want a new Playbox 180 and a new Y-Phone 732S and the new Racerman car driver game. I also want a new bike because the one I got last year is dirty and I want a new Windbreaker air rifle too. I've been, I've been good so I want these by Billy Spoiled. Uh, might as well clean up the rest of the table while I'm going. Ooh. That's... Oh, God. Apparently he was... Santa was tearing out clumps of his own hair. Shotgun shells. More booze. You can, like, some things like the uh, bottles of booze, you can end up breaking if you move them too quickly against the surface. Oh, Jesus. Uh, dear sir, dear sir, note underscore munitions underscore text equals find and close your for the following items. Five crates of Trinitrotulion, two boxes of select heavy edged knives, and eight boxes of 12 gauge shotgun shells. Pleasure doing business with you, sir, and don't forget them, don't forget about our sale. Shoot them and loot them. All items 25% and more off until the first. Shooters and looters, fine munitions since 2001. Um, given the remote location of the North Pole, something tells me that Santa was Santa was planning this for a while. Dear Mr. Claus, I have in my possession video footage recorded in infrared of you along with your gang entering one of my premises via the fireplace. The footage also shows littering and you personally removing my valuable property, milk glass, and confectionery items. At present, I am preparing to forward this evidence to local authorities unless I receive compensation from your organization in the sum of no less than $100,000. I have generously decided to give you until Monday to complete this transaction or face the consequences of your transgression. Yours faithfully, Lord Devian Snakely. Uh, so somebody was trying to shake down Santa for cash. Urgent, Mr. Claus, it is with heavy heart and dwindling pocket that we regret to inform you that you are being sued in the amount of $250,000. The, claim the claims are as follows. Damage of property, sorry, destruction of property, damages, emotional suffering, public disturbance, and obscenity. Obscenity. Apparently, your reindeer had defec defecated across a house or houses as they passed by the area. For full claims and details, please read through pages 5 through 49. Yours, Dick, Bird. Dick Berg and Sons, which I believe are a bunch of lawyers. Uh, dear brother, I'm in jail again and need bail money. I was caught whipping children in the streets. This one, in this one town, they're always trouble. I know you told me not to go out at Christmas, but why must you have all the fun? I'm so bored. I hope you send an elf with the money soon. I'll do like elves, so fragile. Remember you owe me one for the Russian Mafia incidents, your brother Krampus. I actually don't know a whole lot about Krampus. Give it a little shake to uh, settle things. I don't know a whole lot about K Krampus, but uh, he seemed pretty popular recently. Uh, Mr. Claus, Yuletide greetings, Mr. Claus. I represent a select group of people with great gift-giving ambitions. The Ku Klux Claus are looking for more people with your prominence. Join us and we can show you great things, lead you to greater profits, assist you in labor management, or grant you access to specialized equipment. We await your response. In snow and giving, anointed Spriggan clean, KKK. All right. It's a knife. There's a lot of dynamite in here. And finally, dear Mr. S. Claus, invoice December 5th. Your total for this month comes to toys and other play items, 953,000. Electronic devices, 5.5 million. Shipping and handling, 35,000. And in total, $6.4 million. 
Payment will be required by no later than the fourth of the following month. Good day and uh, good day and thank you for your business by Wang Chow Industries. All right, did I read you yet? Uh, nope, we didn't. Final notice, Mr. Claus. It is with great regret that I find myself forced to write this correspondence once more. As our investigation determined, the atrocious conditions which you forced which you force upon our elven brethren must cease immediately. The low pay, the incredibly long work days, the lack of holidays, it's unhuman. Inhuman. If we at the Union do not see radical changes in the next three weeks, we will be forced to pursue legal channels. And then, sir, you shall see that the full fury of the elves is not so small. Good day by Tiny Littleton, Secretary General. Um, I'm going to do a quick check because... Sappy Littleton. I wonder if we had his uh, son or daughter or sibling working for us. But it looks like I am already out of time for this part of the video, or this part of the series. So, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and have a Merry Christmas.